parang wag wag mo isipin na ano yung legacy mo or what just just have to keep doing kung ano yung ginagawa mo and eventually mafeel mo na uy i'm doing something right and i'm doing something good Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Bulak Podcast. My name is Ramon and uh, um, thank you so much for joining us tonight, today, wherever you are in the world. Um, for today's episode, it's a, it's a very special episode as I've mentioned to my guests because it's ano, like eh, uh, getting out of my comfort zone. As you can see or hear, uh, I don't have my usual co-host with me. Um, just want to give a quick shout out to Edward and Doms also. Uh, but for today's episode, um, I have with me um, the hosts of Gracia Podcast. So first and foremost, I want to uh, say hello to Tito Anz, Andrew De Rivera. Um, he's a uh, hello. endurance athlete. Uh, he ran various races locally and, and abroad, but most importantly, he's an alumnus of La Salle Dance Company Street. And a member of Impulse. So, hello, Tito Ans. Hello, Ramon. Kinikilig ako sobra. <laughs> ah, ako din, ako din, ako Thank din. you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Us and, <pala. laughs> and also, um, we have Ate Tin Ferreira, the, the founder of Racia. Um, it's a digital platform for endurance sports. Um, Hopefully later on, um, we we get we can get to expound what this is and the the podcast itself. But um, for now, um, good evening, hello, uh, Ate Tin, welcome po uh, sa podcast. Hi Ramon, thanks for inviting us. It's an honor for the Ratio podcast. It's an honor. <laughs> um, yeah, um, Ratio is um. A, a, a sports podcast, right? Um, mo- focus more on endurance sports yes mostly it, uh, endurance sports um, lately ko lang din nalaman na that's what it's called pala i thought parang yes. running is the sport itself mm-hmm. or so basically ano triathlete. everything triathlete. is most of it is founded in running because mm-hmm. uh, when you say kasi endurance sports, it's something it's a uh, an activity that you do over a period of time so so running, swimming, biking, yeah. triathlon, and most of it are individual sports, yeah, if not yeah. all. So when I was listening to to your first episode, um, para na kwento ni Tito Ans na um he shifted to endurance sports. So parang ah, okay, yung pala yung parang technical term for for it. Um, yes. Because uh, uh, as a person uh, looking from the outside, like I see like people running. Okay, they're training to run. They're training to for, for triathlon. So, yun pala siya. Okay. Um, so, actually, nung start, uh, ano eh, uh, ang tawag ko sa kanya running lang. And then, yeah, yeah. Nung, nung kinagat na ako ng bug, ng, ng running bug. So, I, yun nga, na, na-challenge ako to try other distances. And those longer distances uh, require endurance. So, yeah. so naririnig ko na rin siya as endurance sports because wala siyang limit eh. Hindi mo alam mm-hmm. kung ano yung limit nung anong kaya mo. So, yun. Kaya siya endurance sports kasi hindi mo alam kung kailan ka matatapos. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, just to share, I, I also... Cause, when I was listening to your podcast, um, I uh, I realized that there was there was nga this hype of running for for some time twenty uh, sixteen seventeen eighteen. Maraming runs kasi nga nun sa BGC eh. and I uh, and that time I was working in Kizanya and then most of um, a, a few of my team leaders that time were also running. So and then Tito Ans was running as well. Uh, a, a few LSTC members, I think, went to running. Si Bonj, nag nagrun. So parang na ingit ako. Parang okay din ata to, just to to stay fit. So I I tried the uh, Milo, uh, 21k again. That's my first run. 27. 21k again. 21k. So I have okay. friends na okay. nag Milo the previous year, nag 5k sila. Tas like like your term, nag nabudol din nila ako to run. So, but nag-train naman ako. Nag-train ako for two months. 
uh, mga 5k 5k lang ganyan and then on the on the race race itself nag like, yeah sabak 21 ay saman parang naka 1 hour 10 minutes 8 minutes ata ako to to finish Nak- sure nakita ko pa yung 21k ano, yan <laughs> 21 ay tama ba or 10 ano? baka 10k Kakos one, one hour ten minutes. Oh, because other oh oh one hour ten minutes. Medyo ano Sorry, na sorry. Oh, ten kilo. Philippine lang pala. record. <laughs> sorry, ten kilo oh. pala. Oh oh. Pero okay na rin. Good job, ah. Good but, job. But yeah, every most most of the runners that I know, and kahit ako, my first race was five k. And yeah, um, so. In the budo nila ako sa start, uh, run. Uh, we gotta start somewhere, ano? Somewhere yes. shorter. Oh. oh. So, so yun, yun. nabudol nila ako. The, 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 the medal was a nice bling. But hindi na siya nasundan. And then, pero hindi na siya nasundan. The, the race kit was fine. But um, it was just nice to, parang, um, to, to know also na, okay, may mga, may mga tao din pala na nag-start sa budol. Ganyan. Oh, marami. <laughs> marami. <laughs> Lahat, actually, oh. <laughs> actually and, almost I, everyone. <laughs> and totoo po yung ano yung basketball shorts running at bat now with basketball shorts, oh. I think. <laughs> Duma- dumaan din ako doon. Dumaan yeah. ako doon kasi syempre clueless ka, 'di ba? Kasi like yung story ko, napilitan lang talaga din ako tumakbo because of my work. So 5k ngayon. So hindi ko pa alam yung proper gear. So kasi so akala ko uh, any short uh, anything comfortable okay na. Pero syempre once you matagal ka na sa sport, parang iisipin mo na mas gugustuhin mo na suotin yung proper gear that will make your time faster. Yeah. So yeah. you so, yun nga lahat tayo nagsisimula somewhere, like basketball shoes, basketball shorts, jerseys. So, paikli ng paikli yan, actually. <laughs> yeah. Napansin ko nga, Tito Anse, sa, sa, sa get-up mo, like, the crop top. And, Oo, uh, pati, yung, pati yung, hindi lang yung shorts ang umiikli, pati yung tops. <laughs> Oo, oh, lahat. <laughs> I, I pati yung oras na, natin umiikli. <laughs> yeah, well, dapat, dapat parang medyo improvements from from the previous run. I, I thought before na basta may rubber shoes ka lang din, that's for running, is okay na like there there are different types of of shoes pa po pala and parang mm-hmm. one of the reasons why i think i didn't really push through with the with running as a hobby was medyo price din yung shoes itself <laughs> to to really That's get true, into to really get into but like, don't was... get us wrong ah um we advise din talaga na kung ano meron ka sa simula okay yeah, lang yan as long as talagang simulan mo yung takbo mo. Kahit jogging talaga yan. Simulan mo lang talaga. And then eventually, mahanap at mahanap mo yung kung yung gusto mo. Like, oh, sige, gusto kong um, gusto kong talunin yung previous time ko. Anong gagawin ko? So, sige, invest ako sa proper shoes. I-invest mm-hmm. na ako sa coaching or sa sa gear. Doon. Doon talaga na lahat nagsisimula. Diba, mm, but, yes, but for you to just get started, for you to get started in running. Madaming options. So, mm-hmm. hindi talaga hindrance yung budget or anything. Especially mm-hmm. ngayon kasi uh, because madami na nag run madami nag sports, madaming uh, madaming iba-ibang brands. Merong the, merong mga brands na dati kung ang average amount ng shoes 5,000 which is ngayon tumataas na 9,000. But on the contrary, on the contrary, there are good enough shoes that are worth 1,000, 2,000. Mm-hmm. And ito yung technique. Makakakuha ka ng super ganda na mga model sa mga outlet stores. So, check it out. Yeah. Outlet stores lang. Oo. Yeah. Tsaka, to add lang dun sa K10, ngayon kasi, sobrang dami mo ng uh, platforms. I mean, marami yung information. There's YouTube, there's TikTok, Instagram. Marami na nagpo-post ng how to run, how to start running, nagpo-post ng techniques. Kasi d- dati, 2016, nung nagsimula ako sa run, wala, wala namang din ganyan mga information. Eh. Talagang natuto lang din ako sa mga tao na nakilala ko. Mm-hmm. And then ngayon, uh, 2020, 2019, ang dami, dami na nagpo-post ng ganito, ganyan. So, yun. So, okay, actually, good, good 
time to start to run ngayon kasi or to start your fitness journeys ngayon pa lang kasi grabe na yung information ngayon eh. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. I I like what you said na uh, it's it's a great time to start na because time. of all yeah. of the information. Like when I was starting like for for the podcast at Polo. The one of the reasons why I didn't really push through like a few years back was because of distribution. The it was really hard to distribute podcasts before dahil you have to pay or may limits lang. But now with the advancement of all of the tech and uh, nag na, natuto na yung mga uh, mga tao, di ba? On what what Mm-mm. each person needs. So nandiyan na nga information. So yeah, um solid na uh, if we want to or uh, a newbie wants to a beginner sorry, rather wants to start running. Um Okay, so, uh, what was, uh, the most challenging part, running right now, in in terms of, cause it's some of my concerns ko din, cause I went, um, for for the longest time, uh, since the pandemic, um, yung mga workouts ko dito lang sa sa house, uh, and, and ganyan. But when I wanted to parang challenge myself, so I enrolled in a gym. But due to to COVID and all of the health protocols, may mask, and one of the challenges is breathing with the mask. Um, uh, what what can you say about that when you were running? Um, I, I don't mask. know with 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 masks on. You know, it's na kahirita she or or some sort. But how do you make? So it? the question is, yeah, the question is, how did we like uh, cope up with the? the safety protocols during covid yeah. now we had to run with a mask oh, sige yeah. uh, interesting sige ikaw muna tin <laughs> may plug tong sagot ko <laughs> <laughs> oh diba but pwede mo may mag-plug ayo oh, actually of course, of course, sure. <laughs> no no i'm just kidding actually uh, so when we started no i, I think that was may 15, 2020. So, nag-announce sila you can run in sa, around your barangay as long as um, meron tayong parang Mast pass on. nun eh, di ba? Mast on and then uh, may, time, may mga areas pa nga na pati yung uh, nakalimutan ko na face shield. Face shield. Yun. Face shield. Uh, so, okay. people were running um, with face shields? And and mass on saw, and 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 I eventually mm, oh, sa, oh some some does kasi depende dun yeah. sa level of but of course syempre kung ano yung minimum requirement that's what you followed so it, it started with that so kung ano yung mask mo yung uh, we're using I, I was using cloth then eh, cloth mask and then merong yeah. yung yung sometimes surgical mask depending on what's available but for me kasi uh, it's better than it's a very small inconvenience as compared to being stuck at home, not being able to exercise. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think medyo naging controversial pa yan na parang it will, it will, it might be, it's not healthy, it's not, yeah, for it's the not lungs. good, but, yeah. uh, but, but um, as long as you get, uh, parang a- any exercise naman, as long as you get to adjust to it, to uh, whatever you're doing. Of course, if you're, kung nakamask ka, hindi ka mag all out, di ba? So, yun. And yun, eventually, nagkaroon na ng other options, other alternative. So, like, like uh, one of the brands na we carry, yung T8, uh, they, they had a mask na uh, that's really really breathable. So the, so that solved the problem. And then all other options like sa shop, meron kami Sam's, iba-iba yung mga brands. So nag-innovate na, nag-adjust yung mga sports mm-hmm. brands uh, so that they can uh, they can address yung needs ng runner. Kasi at that time, hindi lang sa Pilipinas eh, but all other countries, most countries then are requiring masks. So, sa atin, um, ngayon, medyo required pa din, but sa- sometimes, mm. hindi na sila ganun ka-strict, like you won't be called out if they see you. But it, it's up to to the person na, na um, kung kailan mo isusuot yung mask. So, um, then nagkakaroon na din ng mga sporting events. So, so like, mm-hmm. um, Siyempre, it has to follow protocols. May mga prescribed na protocols for for the event organizers. So, pag when it's crowded at the gun start, uh, before before magdisperse yung crowd, you need to wear masks just for mm-hmm. for safety. Just so so for me, yon mahirap sa simula, but uh, 
but uh, there is nothing kumaga pag at pag atleta ka kasi and gusto mo yung gawin yung ginagawa mo you adjust you adjust to yeah, it yeah correct correct ako naman nung start well tama kung gusto mo talagang gawin yung gusto mong gawin which is, which is running mag adjust ka eh so nung time na nag start talaga ako sa uh, alam mo yung buff yung parang multifunction bandana yeah yeah kasi para sa akin yun yung pinaka breathable during that time so adjust adjust din talaga and then hindi ko talaga maiwasan binababa ko yung 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 mask until the nose area kasi yeah. nag-inhale ako through the nose eh. Mm-hmm. So, important sa akin na sa nose ako humihinga. And then, eventually, nung um, patagal na patagal, tapos na wala na nga yung face shield. Nung face shield era, hindi ako nag-face shield during the run kasi parang sobrang inconvenience niya. Eh. Yeah. So, talagang mask <laughs> so, lang so, talaga. So, pa- pag tumatakbo ka, mamaya, ano na, boys na eh, no? Parang, bakit oh, fa- foggy na yung tinatakbuhan ko? Feeling mo, nasa Mount Pulag ka na. <laughs> <laughs> And then, ayun, ano umu-okay na nung nagka-vaccine na, medyo tinanggal na nila yung face shield. So, sometimes, ano na eh, uh, hindi na ako nagmamask din talaga. Sinusuot ko yung mask ko sa arms ko just in case na papasok ako ng 7-11 to buy yeah. hydration. Basta may baon lang ako mask lagi. Pero nung start kasi, siguro piliin mo lang din kung saan ka tatakbo or sino yung kasama mo. Para at least, kasi mm-hmm. syempre mass gatherings during that time, bawal pa talaga eh. So, mm-hmm. minsan dalawa, tatlo lang kami tapos may distance kasi hindi talaga may iwasan eh. Mm-hmm. So, kasi syempre nakakabaliw din kung mag-isa ka, di ba? So, yes. Uh-oh. ayun, talagang social distance lang. Tama si Tin eh. Nag-innovate din yung ibang brands. Nag, uh, si Tobis nag-carry na ng P29 mask. Yung parang foam mask na breathable din for for mm-hmm. athletes. So, okay din siya. Nakatulong din talaga siya. Like, naalala ko bigla yung post ng um, isang athlete friend namin ni Tin, si Jael. Parang may post siya na kung gusto mo talaga yung ginagawa mo. Uh, hahanapan mo talaga ng paraan. Like, siya, during that time, tumatakbo siya sa basement lang ng parking lot. So, mm-hmm. ayun, I was able sabah- to, ano, I, I was mm-hmm. able to do a 5 kilometer during the time ng very strict lockdown. I think that was uh-huh. April. Ito may share ako, ano, uh, Ramon, no? may friend kami ni Tin, ang pangalan niya si Dean. So, <laughs> Na, na natuklasan namin nung hype ng pandemic uh, birthday niya eh parang sa amin mga runners important yung birthday run eh so usually we run the our age so nung time na yun, ata 24 years old ata sure, I'm not sure how how old he was no, it, pero it, it, you know, a little pero older. sa ginawa niya Uh-oh. ginawa niya tumakbo siya sa garahe niya paikot-ikot sa kotse niya grabe Oh, so talagang una hindi kami naniniwala pero 25k sa yung data. Mm-mm. Oh, let's say 25k. It's paikot-ikot lang siya. Yung distance lang noon yung buong sedan niya. Uh, so paikot-ikot yes. lang sa garay. Eh. Oh, may mga ganun. May, oh. Yeah, may yeah. Ganun. I I know uh ko ko sa Rishia that time. So we'd like to encourage people to move. So um so we we hold a Uh, contest and uh, there were some people who lag uh, as much as 42 kilometers in a day. So, ang ginagawa naman niya parang work from home. So, tatakbo siya sa umaga and then he just kept his watch on. Lunchtime, ikot ulit siya dun sa bahay niya sa garden. Ito naman bigger yung area niya. Mm-hmm, maybe, mm-hmm. maybe so Uh, so advantage for him but still that's 42 kilometers in a day yeah no. diba? and, and that's working pa <laughs> that's working so pa. so really you you really have to find a way to um to stay fit and ang staying fit naman hindi lang yung workout hindi lang yung makatakbo ka na mahaba but yeah. parang what, whatever addresses your uh mental health kumaga whatever makes Correct. you feel good especially during those times yeah correct correct uh i remember also when uh nung pwede na nga rin, i i think i i 
was able to run a few kilometers dito lang din from from our uh from our, here at our, our place yeah 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 uh kasi parang if you don't have really the equipment or hindi ka naman mabuhat as a type of person but you really want to stay fit running talaga is one of the most accessible um sport that you can you can do since we me rubber shoes ka lang yes Ayun nga lang yun, naging, naging struggle ko nga lang din na uh, um but with the mask so ginagawa ko nga rin doon, like what you were doing pinababa ko yung yung mask ko up to the nose level pero dapat wala akong kasabay so kung wala akong kasabay mag tumakbo um binababa ko siya pag minakasalubong ako that's the only time that i put it back up so may mga, may mga ganung compromises na uh, nangyari but it's a uh, it's cool to to know what um the, like athletes do when because i was really curious like uh especially when you when you post at ito and uh, you were running parang di ba hirap <laughs> hirap tawag mo na may mask but um um you make it work so yun eto may tip ba ko ramon ha? so sa lahat ng pina-post ko syempre kung nagpo-post ka dapat laging maganda so <laughs> <laughs> so ano yun stage yun hindi yun yung oh, ano of course uh, <laughs> may, di ba may tinatawag kami yung for the gram. For so, the yeah. gram. Pag uh, yung mga binividyo sa amin, pag binividyoan kami, gumaganda talaga yung running namin, yung form namin, breathing namin. <laughs> kasi alam namin may nanonood. So, okay. Pero, yeah. <laughs> pero syempre, uh, behind the scenes, uh, you were really running with it. So, the, I, I, I know that you were really doing the work and parang... Um, aside ng ang ganda ng Instagram or ng post, uh, the, the work behind it, uh, doon pa rin ako na-amaze. So, meron pa ka, meron, ako meron akong isang ano, parang milestone ba matatawag yon during mm-hmm. the pandemic. So, I, I was able to run in places where uh, I don't usually, I usually drive drive yeah, yeah. around too. So, because uh, I, I live somewhere in, ano, um, near Cubao, Quezon City. So, I'd go and meet up kay, kay Natito Ann, who lives in Pasig. No? So, I'd run by, from my place, go around Green Hills, all the way to crossing the flyover. Ito, ang dami na, if, you, if you've uh, seen my feed during that time, Sobrang excited kami no na, na nandoon kami sa gitna ng EDSA, you know. Ang lapit sa bahay pero first yeah, time yeah. first time ko nagawa. Cause there was not um I think that was the first time that uh walang ano, walang masyadong smog sa EDSA. Yeah, okay. You, you see really the impact of um vehicles. Of yeah. vehicles in the in the area so we were able to run around EDSA. I think tayo tito ans nakatakbo pa tayo from Pasig all the way to Mandaluyong and back running mm-hmm. around Edsa so yon exciting hindi, usually hindi ko ginagawa d- yun dati I think that's one thing that excites us as runners no pag yung isang place natatakbuhan na namin yung parang tipo na iisip namin dati din, nagde-drive lang ako dito ha. pero ngayon mm-hmm. tinatakbo ko na like may mga yung Bonnie Tunnel for example yung ilalim na yun Ah, uh, tinakbo ko na siya one time. So para hindi yung, yung mga ganun naka-excite. So, yun yung mga pina-post namin kasi hindi talaga siya common. Uh-huh. For example, yung natayo yung bridge from Capitolio to BGC. Yung mga uh-huh. ganun, yung ah, oh, kasi uh-huh. dati bawal pedestrians doon eh. Pero nung nung eto na, to na tumatakbo na tayo mismo sa bridge. Oh my god, sobrang uh-huh. exciting. So, na-excite talaga kami if may mga places na um, hindi pa namin natatakbuhan. Oo. Kung dati, kung pre-pandemic, no, ang na-excite kami sa mga race-cation, like magre-race ka somewhere in uh, Visayas, Mindanao, yeah, or yeah. Sa, sa other countries. No? Ngayon, nung pandemic, since we can't travel, ang, mga, ang, ang run-cation namin is EDSA. Mandaluyong, muni, yeah. ganyan. Pero syempre po ngayon. Kaya pupunta no, kaming feel invest noong time na yun. Syempre, pero syempre ngayon hindi na siya pwede. Kasi ang dami ng um, ulit sa sakyan or sidewalk na lang ulit. <laughs> pe, pwede pa pwede, din. Pwede, pwede pa rin. Pwede pa din, but it's not as ideal as that time. 
Okay. So, okay. mas ma- mas oh, mausok na, mas ma-traffic, mas madaming Saka sakyan. dapat, ano, gigising ka talaga na maaga for those, Mm-mm. ano. Saka yeah. isang part ng itinerary ko lagi, every time na nagka-travel ako, let's say, Boracay, Siargao, or anywhere, kailangan ko lagi dala yung running shoes ko kasi it's a good way to explore the city yeah. or the, the island kasi, ayun. That's a, ano, a, a, a good... Rather than, uh, oh, rather than renting a tricycle or what, parang explore the city on your own two feet. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. That's a that's a nice thing to do when traveling. Yeah, oh. uh, ako nga, nung pandemic ko lang na-discover, doon pala sa one block away from my house, merong museum. Okay. <laughs> so, that I didn't, yeah. I just drive by it. So, hindi ko na mapansin. Like, wow, may ganito pala sa kapitbahay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mas mas na-appreciate niyo po, no? yung scenery, the, the things yes, that you really oh. don't notice as much when you drive a car, but when running, daming na-realize. When I go to the gym nga po, I just walk eh. Mga two kilometers and then back Uh-oh. home. Added mileage. Ang tawag yeah, namin dyan. Yeah. Uh, steps. I, I, I usually do it for the steps. I don't really run na. Uh, but, uh, dahil lagi nga nakaupo because of work, then might as well just kukaya naman. Tipid po sa pamasahe. Yeah. Um, at itin, I think I, I, I'm, I'm curious lang how um, Rizia started as a startup and uh, maybe you can talk about that and how you were able to uh, build up your podcast through it so I'm just curious about that uh... Oo, medyo mahaba yun. <laughs> okay, so we started, actually, nung, nung, the time that we start, we started with Rasia. We're not really thinking, hindi pa uso yung term na startup eh. Hindi pa uso yung, mm-hmm. I mean, it's there na, but uh, it's not, uh, kumbaga, parang it's not a common term that's used by many, you know. Like, like kami, uh, what we were trying to solve at that time is, because uh, we've joined races outside the country, and uh, we joined races here and we kind of feel like, uh, how do you call it? We kind of feel that our our standards and yung mga available um, solutions dito sa atin are, are, are very much left behind. So, hindi mm-hmm. high-tech. Hindi naman geologs, no? But everything's manual. That it, it, it has very much room for improvement. And one of the reasons dyan kasi, of course, um, yung mga... Uh, of course, uh, yung affordability by the event organizers here in the Philippines. Tapos, and then second, um, yun then accessibility to certain products because um, we're, we're still be, uh, we're still very used to the traditional stuff like uh, um, yung hindi pa available lahat nung available in other uh, so in the, other the, countries to ano the, the and, products. So para po bang uh, like parang tech solution. Mm-hmm. So so yon slash e-commerce. Oo. Uh-uh. So so nung okay. nung, nung tayo, when we started we were trying we, we were just providing tech solutions for organizers for uh-huh, um uh-huh. for event organizers for brands for um and uh other stakeholders in the sport so that they can reach out to athletes and uh digitize mm-hmm. make things more efficient for them they can focus on selling their they can focus on their events and then yung mga uh-huh. nitty gritty na nagbayad na ba to ano na ba to <laughs> yung mga ganyan that's the platform solves it so we started at that as that tapos um so uh, from from then na build yung community so uh, so we're able to build a community and there's been um and nakita namin na parang okay um so we're not just uh i think we should we should just um not cater to the to those who provide um to yun sa mga vendors but also um encourage more community kasi nandiyan na ano yung needs nila so so nag-evolve to that especially during the pandemic tapos mm-hmm. um etong uh, tapos na uso pa yung startup no na na Korean uh-huh. novela <laughs> so <laughs> nasabi namin okay yung pala tawag sa amin ayan uh, so anyway so uh, at that time then we became part of the 
Kubo. Ito yung mga uh, uh, Kubo is uh, a cohort, parang uh, an incubator of tech startups to oh, assist oh. them. Yon. So, uh -huh. uh, so we became part of the program by the U.S. Embassy. So, so it encouraged us to parang to evolve, think further, parang um, go beyond. Sabi nga nila parang um, pag um, what uh, at, at first you look at your community and you serve what the community needs. Pero at some point you look at the people outside your community, and that's when that's when you achieve growth. And not just growth in terms of uh, parang number of uh, of course not, not just growth in terms of income revenue, or ganyan yeah. or ano, but growth in terms of um who you are serving. Parang ano ba yung passion, no? So, so yun, because what we wanted is for, for people to find the athlete in them. So, find the athlete in them. And uh, so, we're not just looking at me, Andrew. We're, we're, looking at, uh, we're looking at my sister. We're looking at my, who's not mm -hmm. running, who, who's yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Ka, ka lunch ko every Sunday, but is not doing the sport. So, bakit hindi nila, ano? So, making it more inclusive, making it more accessible, making it more oh. encouraging. Yan, kaya then, um, so, so, given that, so, we, we built the platform. Um, we, uh, we're continuously building, um, anchored on that. So, uh, so basically, um, make it, building the ecosystem making everyone yeah, meet yeah. meet in the platform while at the same time um encouraging more people to start moving through the platform through through what we offer and uh kasama dun yung, yun, that's when nga, na, na, um it's just, well, one way to reach them is uh through the ratio podcast so mm -hmm, it be mm -hmm. it became part of uh what Tricia is yeah, so uh, yeah, we're on our 14th episode now, Ans, right? 14th yes, episode. Yes. So yeah, um, we we uh, we talk to inspiring, uh, from, so from elite athletes, no, mga world record holder, marathon mm -hmm. queen, yung mga na interview namin, to um to the weekend warriors, to those who. uh to individuals who were not uh like si attorney star, di ba? She she's. She started running late, and now she's on yeah, her way to, uh, to be to finishing ma marathon majors. No, nakaapat na na marathon majors. So mga stories like that, and yun, and then mga how to how to run, how to do triathlon, how to do trail run, obstacle, everything. Yun. So so that's Tricia. So kasama ka doon sa <laughs> sa yeah, kaya, sa, so, sa demo so ipaplano <laughs> ipaplano na namin yung ano mo athletic journey mo di ba tito ans sama na yeah, natin oh. si ano sa sa arcobia <laughs> oh, actually our goal namin natin is after this podcast is ma budol ka namin to start your journey <laughs> Yeah, uh, ako naman. Bumili nga po ako actually ng running shoes eh. So I have my the, the the my gym shoes is actually running shoes para 'di ba, multifunctional siya na hindi lang siya for for gym. So Okay, I, I'm, I'll make okay, sure yan. na ano. Oo. Oh, oh. Okay yan, okay yan. Check it out. Sorry Tita, you were saying. Yeah, ako naman kasi nag-start ako sa journey ko no naging um unemployed ako for the longest time. Tapos Nagaanap ako ng kahit ano na lang na trabaho. And then I landed this job sa Toby Sports. Tapos ang binigay sa akin nga na category was running. So noong time na yan, ano ba alam ko sa running? Kasi hindi naman ako tumatakbo. Ang alam ko lang talaga ay sumayaw. Cardio natin sa <laughs> cardio uh, training. So lang sumayaw, tsaka mag-party, inom, ganun, ganun. Siyempre, <laughs> bata pa eh. Fresh grad, yeah. ba So parang yun yung naging lifestyle. So, ayun, napilitan na lang talaga ako to learn how to run, to know the community. And then, slowly, nung nakikilala ko na yung mga tao sa community, naka-join na ako ng races, doon ako nag-start talaga ma-in love with what I'm doing. And then, throughout that journey, na-meet ko si Tin. Mm -hmm. Na-meet ko si Tin. Kasama sa, kami sa mga kasi, nakilala niya. <laughs> uh, Nag-partner si Tin with us kasi kailangan nila ng parang brand to partner for their event. So game naman. So would you believe it that pin naging yung relationship natin from um event partners tas gito para partners na tayo sa uh -oh. podcast. So talagang naging fruitful din kasi eh napagdaanan din 
napagdaanan ko lahat ng events ni Tin, napagdaanan mm-hmm. ni Tin lahat ng mga events na sinalihan ko. So, Uh-oh. kaya naging, that's when, nung umalis ako sa company, after nun, nag, nag, st- friends pa rin kami. Uh-oh. And then, yeah, yeah. yun, so, and yun, that, that's kami ng podcast. Oh. That, that's something that, uh, other than the, other than the PRs, other than, other than achieving medals and more achievements, no? It's something that um, being in the community, do, doing sports would give you. So you, you're you able to meet more people, you're able to build uh, relationships, you're able to build bonds. Kasi, uh, lalo na pag, uh, pag mga races, no? Kasama mo mag-training, para-para okay ng goal, and then mm-hmm. uh, you end up... Um, achieving the same thing you uh, you you suffer together <laughs> ayun so minsan nga ako may mga ano ako may mga I, I built some good friends who are from in Indonesia I met in a race I, I met in a race in Indonesia na Malaysia mga ganon so tapos kikita na lang kami para kami sasali sa Hong Kong so para kayong ano uh, kahit ilang oras mo lang nakasama, iba yung bond yeah, that, that you are able to form. And yun, kami nila, Andrew naman, I, I think parang uh, mas na-form yung bond din namin because of the pandemic, di ba? Parang uh, so very restricted, walang uh, walang masyadong races. So so we have, we try to encourage each, each other by yeah. uh, by having one common day where we run together o kaya... Um, one common one common goal let, let's say on a sunday o sige kailangan takbo tayo or takbo tayo ng 10k or takbo tayo ng 15k kailangan maikot natin yung edsa yung ganyan or yeah, gusto yeah. ko mag gusto, goals uh, gusto ko mag picture sa ano sa flyover so ganun mga ganun mm. mga very ano very parang small wins that ano that allows us to encourage each other yeah, I really like how the community was able to um, just push each, each other, especially during the pandemic. Because it's hard to cope. And uh, I think this is one of the advantages of you know, having your hobbies and um, learning and being connected um, with, with one another is you really just try to push each other then to, you know, like, uh, petting, um how how is he or she coping so parang may ano ka eh. so, yeah yeah, yeah. The, the word is support system yeah that that's uh, that's uh, yeah. nice that's a word and i'm i'm pretty sure ramon na feel mo din to during our college days sa sa lasal dance company street diba mm-hmm. yung bond natin as a group and after graduating buhay pa rin yung love mo sa group eh, until yeah. now and tama i mean you don't have to be part of the running community i mean you have as long as you you love doing something and may you find common people that has the same passion as you okay. nandoon yung support day eh. and then i'm pretty sure nakikita mo rin naman to sa dance community eh. yeah, yeah so it's alive it's actually it's everywhere you just have to you know uh don't don't exclude yourself but you just have to include yourself yes correct kaya um isa din sa mga learning sa akin yung although we perform you know, Tito Ans, we, we do this big concerts and stuff there's mm. still a part of me that's uh, parang uh, shy and timid and stuff like that but uh, every now and then you you want to break out that shell eh, and uh, um, you want to be you know like what you said it's it's wag mong ilimit yung sarili mo eh cause like this, the, the the podcast, I wouldn't meet Atitin. I wouldn't be able to to talk to you uh, for for the longest time. I, I was I'm want I'm wanting to like like bond with with other people. You um the alumni na hindi, hindi lang sa dance, di ba? But um this kind of opportunity, if you sometimes say no, you really miss it. Eh? And um it's a it's a great opportunity to connect and to 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 learn, especially if you are you know, you're part of a community. Um I just want to take a turn. Um just want to ask Tito Anz um and like a while ago we were talking uh, um if the abot batay sa street apparently hindi pala but you were just always <laughs> there. So akala ko yeah. student ka pa rin pala or ka maka, ka, ka, 
uh, ayun, pag-graduate ka pa lang. But apparently, pagpasok ka pala ng street, uh, graduate ka na pala. Graduate na ako. Oh. Uh, I won't mention the year na pumasok ako ng street, but um, what was just the, the last year? Um, what was your last year? na ano ka pa member member hindi ka pa alumni what was that year okay. like if you would remember or i mean last if if hindi na yung last year as a student but y- yung last ano wala um memories of being active in in dance in street or impulse okay sige medyo naalala ko but barely but, pero kasi syempre last year mo as a college student ano eh thesis ano yan thesis time So very busy. And uh, sorry, um, what what did you take po sa sa Okay, I'm, I'm actually Benilde ako. Okay. I'm from College of St. Benilde. I'm one of those uh, last I think I'm the last taga Benilde who entered street. Just after that year, nagkaroon na kasi ng si Ate hip-hop Ikat. group yung uh, well, Ikat was there before me. So I okay. think I'm the last okay. one who entered. Na talaga nag-audition na. Ah. Anyway, ah, okay, okay. Oh, that's a so, interesting fact. Fun fact. Oh. Fun fact. Yeah. And then, so yun, uh, very busy yung last year ko as college. Tapos, very, tapos, part pa ako ng, ano eh, part pa ako ng DM prod. So, di ba, prod yung pinaka <laughs> uh, busy, busy na committee. So, <laughs> and I remember that time, nung tapos na kami mag-thesis defense, nag-work na ako, nag, nag-work na ako kahit nag-aantay ako grumadli. Mm-hmm. I was working for uh, Pink Berry Frozen Yogurt. Okay. So, front of house ako. So, I, noong time na yun, kasi I really wanted to work for Starbucks. Kasi, mm-hmm. so, ko lang magkaroon ng experience. Pero noong time na yun, um, Starbucks was uh, bringing in Pink Berry. Siya yung parang number one frozen yogurt sa America that time. So, dinala mm-hmm. siya ng Starbucks group dito. Tapos, they were looking for members. So, doon ako nag-apply. Kasi feeling ko, I would have more opportunities there. So, naalala ko, um, shift ko sa Pinkberry, 8 hours, sa Green Belt Branch, tapos magta-taxi ako, kasi wala pang Grab Uber nun eh, magta-taxi ako going to Lasal just to attend rehearsals. Tapos may dala akong yogurt for <laughs> members, nakakatawa. So, yun, tapos nung graduate ako, yun yung first time na sumali yung LSDC sa World Hip Hop sa Las Vegas. So, mm-hmm. part ako ng pioneer, parang OG team Wor- that went to Las team. Vegas. Uh-huh. So, very busy talaga. And, ayun, masaya naman. And then, syempre, active pa rin talaga ako kahit alumni ako eh. I, I mean, nagiging um, present pa rin talaga. That's why nga, that's why nga nabu, na, ano eh, na, nabuo si Tito Anse eh, because of uh, yeah, street. Yeah. Si street talaga, street talaga nag-name sa akin as Tito Anse eh, because <laughs> of Tin, kasi tawag nila sa akin dati, Tin, Kuya. Kuya Andrew, Kuya Andrew. Sabi ko, hindi ako kuya. Hindi ako, masyado akong cool para maging kuya. Cool, call me Tito. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yun. Yun, yun yung naalala ko sa last year ko sa street. Tapos, yun, alumni group, active pa rin ako. And then, nung nag-start na ako with this whole um, running, medyo talaga nag na ako. nag uh, hindi na ako naging active. I'll, I'll be honest, parang nahanap, may nahanap ako na something to keep me busy. Mm-hmm. And I think that's, um, of course, part of growing up. I remember there was this one dance dish na um, coach announced that a lot of alumni won't be returning the following year mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. like everyone was sort of sad because That's one of the highlights of being a street member is to get to call up with alumni and uh, most of the alumni I feel that that time is like trying to ano na rin, parang um, grow um, sort of they're detached from street but you know try other things um, pahinga muna ulit and um, stuff like that so I for me also parang nasad ako but I think I understood. where the alumni were coming from. Uh, it's not every year that we get to return. And uh, you know, there will be a time that um, we will be letting go of, not let it go, not let go, but you know, find other other things to, to be busy with. 
And actually, na-feel ko din, kasi sobrang nung college days ko, hype talaga yung dance for me. And na- naisip ko din, din na magkakakarira ko with dance. Pero eventually, actually na-injure nga pala ako. Na-injure yung tuhod ko. Diba? Andong ka ba nun? <laughs> na-injure yung tuhod ko. In... Anyway, so na-injure yung tuhod ko. training ba to? Or di naman? During a live performance. Then, alam mo ba tong kwento na to? During a live first performance. First time ko marinig yan. Okay, so yung Ramon yung event na to ng street was called The Battle. Oh, I was there. Oh, the oh battle. is this the Tapos first one? Ni, the first one. The, 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 yung, yung first one kami ni Ella nag-host. Yung second one kami ni Paolo de Luria. So, okay. syempre, Kenkoy, Kenkoy kami ni Paolo Is this Luria, the second diba? one? Second one. Okay, I was so, there. <laughs> during that live performance, simula pa lang to, ah. syempre, may, may ano kami ni Pao na Tara, entrance tayo ng may sarili kaming dance number, ganyan. So, during that uh, intro dance ng host pa lang, simula pa lang to ng event din, ha? Sumasayo kami on stage and nag-pop yung tuhod ko. And akala, parang something, parang shit, nag-pop yung tuhod ko, ano nangyari? <laughs> Tapos, kinapa ko yung pants ko. Kinapa ko yung pants ko. Feeling ko kung lumabas yung buto or something. Pero wala, wala naman. <laughs> okay, Talag- okay. Nag- ang nangyari pala was na-dislocate yung tuhod ko. So, yun, na-injure ako. Tapos, nung nag-rehab ako, may, syempre, pag na-injure ka, akala mo, hindi mo rin alam kung kailan ka talaga magiging 100% mm-hmm. healthy or mm-hmm. makabalik, di ba? So, yun din. Siguro, that's, that's one of the reason din. Kaya din, medyo nag-slowly let go na ako sa dance because parang hindi ko na din kaya to sustain this kind of um, um, activity. Mm-mm-mm. And sa running naman, you can actually pace yourself. Eh? Not, hindi naman kailangan on the go, full out, uh, right? Okay, I didn't know that. Fun fact again. That's cool. After doon ko, no, actually, after, no, after ko mag-heal sa knee injury ko, na-enjoy ko yung, ano, na-enjoy ko yung hiking. Kasi parang nag-boom yung, ano, eh. Yeah. Nag-boom yung Instagram <laughs> okay. hiking scene, eh. Kaya lang, Oh, nandito ako ngayon sa mountain ng ganito. So nice here. <laughs> Payabahan sa Instagram. IG hiker, oh. di ba? <laughs> IG, naging IG hiker ako. Yung dance competitions ba right now, um, is it still very active? Kasi I've seen, I've seen some, pero mostly, ano, di ba, parang... Mostly yung inter-school. mga tang. Oh, and, and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah, inter-school. But, but for adults, I saw some na parang, di ba, sa, meron na sa Olympics na dance, pero it's more of yeah. j- break ta- dancing. Uh, uh, yeah. And tango. Solo. Mga, uh, ano, uh, oh. yeah. For, uh, sa mga nakikita ko lang din po sa Instagram, I think the the dance community right now is alive with, um, yung mga live events nila is battles. So it's more on um, one-on-one Like, you dance, I dance, and then there will be judges. So, mga ganun yung mga um, recent events na pumapaso. But for large groups, nakikita ko na parang video, ano pa rin siya eh, submissions. Like for um, HHI, yung Hip Hop International, where um, representative from the Philippines flies to the US. Para so, it's qualifier the Olympics. competition. Yeah. Mm. It's the Olympics of hip hop. So, mima qualifiers po dito sa Pilipinas. I think what they did was video, ano eh, video submissions. And then there are judges. Tapos ganun lang. Um, Pinresent yung video and then ginage yung, yung video. I haven't seen those dances. Kasi parang Pero, hindi na rin para hindi para mas scout. Para hindi mas scout. I think one, so, ano, one notable na difference during no time natin Ramon to now sa dance. Uso talaga dati yung inter-school dance competition. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ngayon parang nakikita mo na na since ano na alive na alive yung community, na uso na yung gagawa ka ng grupo outside the school. Hindi na siya school-based competition, mm-hmm. but parang people outsource from different schools magbubuo sila ng grupo. Parang it's an mm-hmm. open category na siya. Hindi na siya inter-school yung labanan. So it becomes more mainstream na. Yeah. Pero yeah, naging part din ng UAAP ang street dance competition. Mm-hmm. Diba dati cheer dance lang? Tapos may street dance competition na rin siya. Mm-hmm. So naging evolve mm-hmm. talaga. Mm-hmm. Then, For this year... Ako, ano, eh, break dancing ang uso. 
Yeah, until until now, ate. Yung mga head, uh, ano, head turn, oh, ganyan, di ba? Mag- magugulat ka na lang kung gano'n na din ka-advance sa mga moves ngayon sa breakdance. Ang yeah. head spin na yan nung time natin, yun yung pinakamahirap, di ba? Pero yeah, ngayon... It's basic. It's fundamental wow. na siya. Dati oh, pag nakaka-head spin ka, lodi ka na ng lahat, eh, di ba? Oh. Ang mga yeah. bata ko doon, naka, naka-baby freeze lang ako, naka-headstand lang ako. Sobrang cool ko na, ang galing ko na. Pero grabe na ngayon. Like, wala, wala na lang yung basic na lang yun. <laughs> Exciting. I think in any sports, no, it really evolves. Parang dati, when I was starting running, it was just running. Uh, road running, then trail running, obstacle mm-hmm. course, and then, yeah. And also, some of the brands, they adapt then talaga to the times. Dati, ang running shoes, running shoes lang. Yeah, Ayun, yeah. Ang running shoes, may technology na siya, may science na siya behind it. Would you believe the, ang sold that, as na sold kasi dati ng rubber shoes, EVA rubber lang eh. Ngayon, mm-hmm. parang sobrang, scientific foam na yung ginamit tapos nilagyan ng carbon plate para mas maging um, performance enhancer yung ano grabe grabe talaga rin mag-evolve ngayon with the gear with the technology di ba yung pag yung foot mo there's certain types of feet foot feet na yeah. may babagayan uh, na sapatos di ba yes. kasi I, I remember yes yes Mm-mm. parang sa BGC like di ba merong running outlet sa runner na, uh-huh. runner yeah. runner, runner. tapos uh-huh. pinasu- sinukat nila yung pa ako kasi I was looking up for shoes that time eh so, sinukat nila yung pa ako tapos nag-advise sila I just forgot the term ng shoes pero uh-huh. yeah, gate so, analysis parang gate uh-huh. analysis kanilang pinapagawa pinap- 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 nila ako <laughs> sa treadmill may video pa uh-huh. so, what is happening <laughs> kasi ang science behind that was lahat tayo meron tayong iba-ibang unique running form. So Uh-oh. talagang some people, they pronate yung pumapasok yung ankle. Yeah. Some people, they supinate palabas naman yung ankle. So talagang yung mga nagbebenta sa runner, they advise like what's the best for you para mas Mm-mm. matagal yung running ano mo. Mas mas That's longevity so cool. ba yung ano. Yung... Less injury. Yung tinatawag. Yeah. Merong mm-hmm. stability, mm-hmm. may neutral. So yun. Yeah, yeah, yun. Stability, neutral. Yun ata yun. Uh-huh. yun yung kailangan mo for, for the shoes. Um, I just wanna ask, um, uh, Ate Tin, um, like for me, um, I'm a beginner runner or I'm a weekend warrior again. How, how can I maximize uh, the Racia platform? Okay, so it, Depends sa journey mo. No? So what we what we, we provide kasi is um, if you need a coach, you can look for a coach or a mentor in the platform. If you need resources, mm. you can um, you can if you need resources, you can check out yung mga articles. You can listen to mm-hmm. the podcast. Uh, if you just need to connect to a community, uh, so we we feature several community. And eventually, madami pang ibang features in relation. Ayaw, ayaw kong, ano, ayaw kong i-preempt ang okay, okay. <laughs> what's gonna happen soon, no? Pero, pero yun. Uh, and then in terms of your needs, of course, ito yung, kasi, um, so we have a very wide, I, th- I think we have about um, almost 2,000 products, 300 brands, uh, um and uh, partners in the platform na, no, na, na you can choose from. So from shoes, from head to toe, from your headband to, to your shoes, uh, apparel, uh, nutrition. So, so yun, nandun yun. And then um, if you have any, any inquiries, uh, you, can, you can chat, you can ask, because we have product experts who can... Mm. Um, uh, who will not boodle you, no? Kasi kung, <laughs> oh, kung tatakbo ka lang ng 5K, hindi mo naman kailangan mag... Uh, yeah, kung mag yeah, parang hindi yeah. mo naman kailangan ng sobrang premium na energy drink, no? Or... Um, so, it depends. So... Okay. Uh, kumbang, yun. So, so, that's what we have in the platform. And then for... If you're just starting to run... Um, what we recommend, uh, actually, at yung pinakang ideal really is for you to connect with a group, connect, connect with, uh, y- you can train with, and or if you for for those people who, who really are um, who enjoys ano, ano, 
uh, solitude running. So meron din kami mm -hmm. mga challenge. But once the competition, no, if you if you enjoy that, meron din mga challenges. Si meron conquer 2022, like you can challenge yourself to run a certain mileage, and then at the end mm -hmm. of the at the end of the challenge, you get something, you get rewards, you get to see people who are running okay. side by side with you, na, not with you, but uh, somewhere where they are, but um, uh, kikita uh, kayo dun sa leaderboard through throughout the year. So year long. Okay. And yun, every now and then, uh, like, like recently we concluded yung Brooks Global Running Day. So just to celebrate running, to encourage people to run and okay. be happy. Yun, si, si Andro, Brooks, ex-Brooks guy yan. <laughs> <laughs> Ayun, so, oh, so that's... Uh, I think one, di one tip then for you as a weekend warrior then is to set a goal. I mean... Mm -hmm. Sa goal tayo talaga, uh, kailangan ma-pursue ma natin yung goal natin. So, kung goal mo is to finish a 10K, bigyan mo sa yung sarili mo ng, ano, ng time frame. O oh, within one month, okay, maka 10K tayo. Kasi yun din yung ginawa namin during the pandemic. Eh. Kasi walang races. Mm -hmm. Walang nag-motivate sa amin to run. So, kailangan namin talaga ng outlet, which is yung race. Pero walang races during that time. So, kami na mismo yung nagsiset ng mga days namin. Oh, three months from now, magta-time trial tayo ng 10K. Train na tayo. So, kahit weekend warrior ka, kailangan mo kailangan mong i-set yung schedule mo para magawa mo yung goal mo within three months, di ba? So, paano mo ba siya gagawin? Oh, sige, takbo, ta takbo ko for your three times a week, ganun. Tapos, after another month, oh, increase tayo ng mileage. Oh, bili tayo ng bagong sapatos. <laughs> Kaya, oh, may bagong labas yung ano, Vaporfly, yung ganyan. Oh. <laughs> Saka minsan re-reward so, mo yung sarili mo. No? Bibili lang akong bagong oh. shoes kapag na-hit ko tong target ko na to. Ganon. So, or or kumari, if you need something to motivate you to run, oh, sige, bibili ako ng bagong outfit. Kasi... Actually, totoo to, no? sa, sa amin natin, pag talaga mahilig kami sa mga sale, Luckily, mm -hmm. nung pandemic, marami din na nag-sale talaga. So, nag-stock up kami with all our running gear. So, anong gagawin namin with this running gear? So, kailangan namin siyang gamitin, di ba? So, kailangan namin lumabas at tumakbo. <laughs> so, yun. Again, um, don't limit your, again, don't limit yourself kasi porque it weekend warrior ka, hindi mo magagawa uh -huh. to. Magagawa mo talaga siya if you set a goal for yourself. Let's And say 5K in, mm, 5K in two weeks. Yeah. Oh, gawin natin to. Mm. Mm -mm. Again, it's all about the goal in mind. And make it siguro part of your schedule. Parang may, make a habit. Uh, make it a habit. Uh, sabi nga nila parang ano eh, parang, parang let's say, target mo muna auto in, in a month. O, di ba parang if you're doing it consistently for 20 days, it becomes a habit. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So if mm -hmm. you go beyond that, it becomes your lifestyle na. So, so small goals, lagay mo muna doon na, okay, I will run three times a week and put it in your calendar. Ako, I do that eh. Parang, so even when I'm doing the calendar of my meeting, lalagay ko talaga, oh, five o'clock workout. Yung, ano, so, pag hindi ko nagawa, pop-up yan, remind remind niya ako. <laughs> the whole day, papagilty ka, tapos isipin mo, sige na nga, tatakbo na ako ng gabi. <laughs> yeah. I, I like what you both said po, though. It's not na parang, I see it na hindi mo siya kailangan gawin in an instant, eh. Like, you don't have to run 3K in a day if hindi naman kaya. Like, you can make it as a goal and then make sure to to hit that goal, like 5K in two weeks. And then if, syempre, if ma-hit mo siya before two weeks, di ba? Then you can run yung excess, right? So I really, really like that part of uh, your, your tips po. Very, very insightful. Um, maybe just before we go, um, what uh, advice would you uh, give your younger self uh, if you were to go back in time and to give yourself a, uh, uh, an advice? What would it be? Oh, younger self, siguro ano, do sports and do it consistently. Because I've always been 
doing sports ever since, but I was never consistent. Mm-hmm. So even um even during especially during my ano my yung early years of working I was an auditor in in SGV auditing firm so uh yun when, when I kind of feel like it so parang imisip ko nga ngayon shucks ko nag sports kaya ako naka gold medal naging national team kaya ako <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm kidding yun but, but yun um kasi you'll never know what uh, what you're capable of eh, if you don't mm-hmm. try and if you if you don't get started and then you'll never know how far you can go farther and ano pa yung kaya mong gawin if you don't commit and you don't become consistent in it so yun mali mm-hmm. mo ikaw na pala ang next na gold medalist sa SEA Games, yeah. diba? Yung yung ganoon, especially those ano, the, the young ones, no. And um it's good for them kasi mas madaming opportunities ngayon. Diyan yung social media, alam nila. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. and uh, yung mga sports association ngayon very active. Um be, before uh well when I was younger, I, I was already in uh 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 latter years now when I started running, no. But uh but ngayon as uh, as early as mga may mga kids na may mga ki- kids competition as early mm-hmm. as uh, seven years old there are um, competitions already and nakakatuwa so hopefully yon sana ma encourage lahat yeah and maganda kasi yung lessons ng sports po no teamwork discipline so as early as um, kids in nakapag-try will be able to develop those skills uh, ikaw, Tito Anz, what would you give, uh, what advice would you give to your younger self? Hindi ako pa siya iniisip, no? Pero, um, wala naman akong regret sa naging life ko so far. Sobrang happy ako. Pero uh-huh. siguro, kung babalik ako sa time na bata pa ako, sabihin ko lang sa sarili ko na don't be afraid to try new things and to fail. Kasi hindi mo talaga alam kung anong uh, makakamit mo kung hindi mo sinubukan. Naalala ko dati, may nagkaroon ako heart-to-heart conversation with someone parang, ano yung goal ko? O ano yung mga fear ko? Sabi ko, fear, fear ko talaga mag-fail eh. Pero, mm-hmm. narealize ko ngayon with, na, 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 nangyari yung talk na yun during may, siguro, may, ano, may face of too much fun, di ba? <laughs> hindi mo alam kung anong what's in store for you. Pero sabi ko talaga sa sarili ko, takot ako mag-fail eh. Pero mm-hmm. ngayon na-realize ko, kahit mag-fail ako, okay lang kasi alam kong sinubukan ko siya. And, uh, ayun. So far, I mean, ang uh, ngayon, gusto ko pa rin sabihin sa sarili ko, huwag ka matakot mag-try ng new thing kasi kahit mag-fail mm-hmm. ka, okay lang yan. Kasi eventually, those failures will jumpstart your success in the future. Yeah. I I, I like what you said, Tito Anz, di ba? Parang, if in case that you fail, then, di ba? Um, you'll be able to share to other people your experiences para, syempre, hindi na nila magawa or ma- maulit yung, 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 yung failure mo, di ba? Parang, at, at least, I, I, I look at as, if I fail at this task, at least, ma-share ko siya sa'yo na hindi ko mag-fail doon and then you'll get to enjoy the experience. Meron ako satisfaction din eh pag nakikita ko siyang nagsasucceed because of the experience that I was able yes. to mm-hmm. to share. Yes. Sabi nga oh, nila, no. ano, uh-huh. yung ah, sabi nila, yeah. yung ano, um, it's not, the only time that you fail is when you didn't try. Mm-hmm. Parang, when you fail, that's learning. That, that means mm-hmm. you have another chance to try it again and succeed. Correct. Yun. Tsaka naisip ko rin ngayon na uh, during my time dun sa, sa team, Ramon, no? ano mm-hmm. ba yung legacy na may iwan ko sa team? Parang mm-hmm. pressure daw lagi sa isip na kasi syempre yung mga teammates natin, yung mga front, li- front dancers natin, sila talaga yung maaalala lagi ng street. Sila yung yeah. lagi. Pero ano ba may iwan ko? Parang pressure talaga ako sa, sa legacy na yun. Ano ba may iwan ko? That's so, so true. Mm. That's so true. And then na-realize ko na dahil sa ginagawa ko ngayon, na marami akong na-inspire to makbo or anything. Kasi actually, natutuwa talaga ako when 
our teammates na nakausap ko na, they call me the OG. Yes, Tito Ann's OG yan. Kasi parang ako yung nag-start ng whole running craze sa street. So, parang naisip ko, ah, okay, hindi ko kailangan mag-isip ko anong legacy na may iwan ko. Kasi, kasi you just have to do what you're currently doing, kung ano yung nagpapasaya sa'yo. And eventually, hindi mo marirealize yung na ginagawa mo na umaabot na sa ibang tao. So, Actually, one of my goals now is if someone talaga taps me, oh, I want to start what you're doing. So, talaga, I, I give them time talaga to experience na ito yung running. This is, this is ito yung tinuro niya sa akin, ganyan. So, yun. So, parang wag, wag mong isipin na ano yung legacy mo or what. Just, just have to keep doing kung ano yung ginagawa mo. And eventually, mafe-feel mo na, uy, I'm doing something right and I'm doing something good. <laughs> That is so true. Ang ganda nun. T- wow. I mean, I'm so... <laughs> you yeah, just have, just to, have keep to keep doing keep... what doing ko ano yung nagpapasaya sa'yo. Kasi hindi mo alam talaga na ito na yun. Ito na yung legacy mo. <laughs> that's, that's, that's correct. Okay. Um, I guess we should end it here. I know that you still have a Uh, another you you have your own podcast to record after this one but um <laughs> thank you so much for for dropping by po i, I know you're, you're busy um uh, it's so it's such a fun conversation to have with the both of you um at itin meron ka bang shout outs or um you can you want to plug your your social media accounts um Lisa, um go ahead po yeah so just visit our platform sarisia.fit and um uh, follow our Listen to our podcast also. So, iba pala yung feeling, no? Na ikaw yung ini-interview. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Minsan oh, nalilito ako, eh. Napapatanong ako kay Ramon. No, no. It's okay. It's okay. Mas gusto ko nga pa yun. Parang oh, uh, we, may, 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 may conversation. Oh, we had fun. And thanks for allowing us to share also here in your, in Moonlock. Thank you. Podcast. Thank you so much po. Thank you so much for, for your time. Tito Anz. Um, yeah, so for those people who just wants to start their fitness journey, don't be afraid. Let's go. Let's uh, follow nyo kami sa Instagram. We'll be super happy to help you out with your running journey. So, lahat tayo nagsisimula from somewhere and ha- we'll be happy to be part of your start. And yeah. uh, listen to the Racia yeah, podcast and for sure, marami kayo matutunan. All right. Thank you so much, Tito Anz and Ate Tin for, for dropping by the Volok Podcast. I really had fun and damning very uh, valuable insights. I guess not just Thank for you, the audience, Ramon. but for Thank me you. as well. Thank you, Tito Anz, for messaging me. for for uh, Actually, yes, if you didn't message course. me, uh, wala, but I'm really thankful that you did. Um, if you... Enjoy the podcast. For the listeners, if you enjoy the podcast, make sure to uh, follow us on Spotify. Hit the like button. If you watch this on YouTube, uh, follow us. Great. Great, great, YouTube great. Ito? I'll upload sa YouTube ba ito? Sa YouTube ba ito? I-upload ko po. I-upload ko. So I'll, um, <laughs> I'll edit it and um, um, also upload it on YouTube. Yan. So we'll be on Spotify okay. and YouTube. I'll also upload it on my Facebook page. So I'll just Distribute, mm-hmm. distribute. Buti na lang naka-lipstick ako ngayon, Tito Han. Ay! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, ano, Ramon, message mo lang kami if nasa Manila ka. Takbo tayo. Oh, of course, oh. of course. Yan. Yeah. Uh, ang layo ko lang, but I will definitely message you guys. Um, Looking forward okay. to that. Looking forward. All right. Sige. All right. So, this um, is... Uh, Andro de Rivera and my co-host. <laughs> this is Tid Ferreira and this is not our and, podcast. <laughs> but, but we will, will race ya. We'll race ya. <laughs> See you guys on the next episode. Peace. Stay safe. Bye-bye.